If you're looking to buy an air purifier, one of the best places you can go online is a site called HouseFresh, an independent site run by real experts writing reliable articles that are actually useful. I've cool never heard site. of this website before. Me neither. Potentially because Google's squashing it. All the reviews are, as far as I've been able to tell, extremely well done, backed up by tests that they carry out themselves in-house. Where experts rigorously test air purifiers and then publish the results. Yeah, and this, I, I no, I read some other stuff on the site, it seems. Great. Cool. I'm like actually like want to use this site now. Yep. The only way this makes any sense at all is if this is at least to some extent a passion project, which only a truly sick mind could have created a site like this. And I'm so glad that the internet allows this kind of thing to exist. My name is Danny Ashton and I'm the lead tester here at House Fresh. I spend my days conducting tests on all of our air purifiers so I can write in-depth reviews for our website on our YouTube channel. To decide which air purifier models we will buy for testing, my first step is to check the Energy Star database, which is a great resource that provides public access to over 600 KDAR lab results from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. AHAM tests devices against smoke, pollen and dust, calculating KDAR for each type of pollutant. These tests are widely considered the gold standard and manufacturers pay thousands of dollars to get these results for their marketing materials. However, AHAM conducts these tests all at the highest fan speeds and they don't account for sound levels. This is one reason why I invest hours in conducting our own KDAR tests at different fan speeds. We seal our 728 cubic feet test room, light an incense stick, always the same type and brand, and let it fill the room for 30 minutes. We use incense because it produces a wide range of particle sizes, mimicking common indoor air pollutants. Once these initial 30 minutes are over, we switch on the air purifier and start tracking the levels of PM1 until they reach zero with the help of our Purple Air Zen sensor, which uses dual Plantower PMS 6003 laser particle sensor. We moved to the Purple Air Zen sensor in 2024 after reviewing test results from AQMD which shows that the Zen is as accurate as much more expensive reference sensors such as the Grim EDM180 and the Teledyne API T640. To see PM1 levels in real time we built a tool that pulls PM readings directly from our purple air sensor and visualizes the data on screen. The test ends when the sensor shows that PM1 levels have reached zero. At that point we can calculate how long it took for the air purifier to reach PM10 from the time when we turned it on. We repeat this test at least three times on every air purifier we review and average the results across all usable tests. With this data, I can estimate a PM1 KDAR at top speed based on the natural ventilation in our test room. We also measure sound levels in decibels from three feet away using a BAFX product sound meter and identify which fan speed generates less than 45 decibels, as that is our limit for quiet performance test. Then we rerun our particle removal test at this sub 45 decibel speed because honestly no one wants a jet engine running in their living room. This means we can estimate a top speed KDAR like AHAM and also a KDAR estimate at sound levels of less than 45 decibels. We also track energy usage using the Mature and Pony PN2500 respectively for the UK and US models at every fan speed. Finally, we factor in the cost of filter replacement over one year and combine this with energy consumption costs to give a clear picture of the long-term costs of ownership. If you're still here, remember to subscribe and leave a comment. It will help us reach more people with our content. All of this data, performance, noise, energy usage and cost is combined with our hands-on experience using the purifier at our home and other data that we collect manually on each manufacturer's policies and model specifications that are not publicly available. Using a weighted scoring system, we generate an overall rating that includes scores for performance, value for money, ongoing costs, UX design, brand transparency, and trust and customer service. I use all of this data as part of our air purifier reviews and recommendations so you can easily compare models side by side. Our goal is simple, to help you find the one air purifier that fits your home, your needs and your budget so you can buy it knowing you won't regret it later.